Hey folks, it's Lauren from Snowy's here today, taste testing the off-grid no kidding curry. Hit it. It's shelf-stable food that comes in an easy heat pouch, loads of flavours available, and it's fresh, not dehydrated. Hold up fam, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any awesome content on the Snowy's channel. Let's get into it. So your meal is 250 grams, uh, plus about 16 grams for the physical packet itself. So that 250 grams is the net weight of the food. The package is, or the pack itself is 22 centimetres tall by about 14 centimetres wide. And depending on how you pack your meal and how chunky the food is on the inside, it's probably a couple of centimetres thick, maybe like two to three centimetres thick. So it comes in a really nicely sealed uh, heat proof bag because obviously you are going to heat it in the bag. There's a couple of bits of information on the back here, the name of the meal, a uh, bit of a description of it, your ingredients list. You've also got your nutritional information there. We've got information on storage and handling and how to uh, heat up your food. You've got a best before section down the bottom there, which is going to be roughly around about 12 to 15 months from the date of manufacture. And then we've also got on the side here, you can see two different tear points. Now, because the off-grid meals come in two different sizes, whether or not you're sort of getting a vegetarian or a side like rice or you're getting a main meal, uh, it will determine where you can rip the bag. It also will also depend on if you've got a long, spoon or a short spoon or whatever is going to be easier for you to access your food. The other point to mention is because it is fresh meal that you're going to heat up and boil, it's not going to have the zip lock attachments like you would on dehydrated food where you pour the boiling water and you have to seal it up again and wait for your food to rehydrate. So once it's open and you're ready to eat it, you're going to have to eat it all unless you have an alternative storage uh, option for your food in your pack, which allows it to not spill. So let's heat it up and have a taste. So obviously to heat up your food pouches, you're gonna have to have a heat source that allows you to boil water that you can then put your food pouch in. So obviously you're gonna want something that gives you a little or enough water to cover most of the food that you've got sitting in your pouch. We're using a jet boil flash here that I'm filling up with a bit of water here. You can also use any other hiking stove um, with a saucepan with water in it. You can also use a general camping stove. You can potentially even use um, a saucepan with water in it over a campfire. The um, off-grid food pouches are also microwavable. So if you want to have these at home in your shelf for a quick meal, you just need to tear along the top here to open that up a bit to allow for steam and pressure to come out whilst you're microwaving it. Um, but otherwise, assuming you're off camping or hiking or doing some lightweight adventuring, you're gonna be using a little stove like so. So I'm just gonna get that water up to boil. So I'm gonna turn it down just enough to keep it on a rolling boil. And then I'm gonna slide our food pouch in. Now, once your food pouch is in the water, you're gonna want um, most of your food that's in the pouch to be covered. And you're gonna want it to be sitting at a nice rolling boil for around about five minutes. Alrighty, so I've had this one in the heat now for about five minutes. So uh, let's have a taste here. So this is the um, no kidding cu goat curry, which obviously make or no kidding curry, which obviously has got wild goat in it. Um, but it's yeah, wild goat and aromatic spices. So according to the uh, recipe here, it's just things like ginger, garlic, cumin, turmeric, basic sort of Indian curry style um, flavors there. So I'm going to rip it across on the halfway point to give us a good look in the bag. Basically, as soon as that's opened up, the smell is very intense and it literally feels like Indian uh, takeaways has been delivered to your door. I've got a, a huge big chunk of goat here, which obviously you're going to want to break up a little bit. Some onion, it's a little bit of goat there, I'd say. The sauce is nice and, nice and thick. The flavour is not as I was expecting with the smell of um, when you first rip open the packet, but it still has a bit of flavour in there. It's not salty or anything. Um, it does have quite a bit of heat to it. So I'd say if you are a spice princess like me, it's probably not going to be the best meal for you. But I have a little bit more of this goat. Mm. The goat is nice and soft. 
It's not chewy. It sort of falls apart in your mouth easily. It tastes exactly like meat. As with all of these off-grid meals, it does taste like a home-cooked meal. Again, probably something that you're not going to want to have if um, you are a spice newbie. But otherwise, it's pretty decent. You would literally want to tuck into this at the end of a long day hiking. Pair it with some rice or potentially even some mashed potato and you'll have a winning meal. So you can get this along with all other off-grid flavours at snowies.com.au.